Okay, welcome back to another episode of KC's B Room. Tonight we'll be uh, ranking, rating, and drinking from the Sloppy Ground Brewery. We'll be trying out their West Coast IPA. So sit back, enjoy this video. So I've um, shortened the intro because I was checking out the um, statistics of my videos and apparently the viewing time is only approximately two to two and a half minutes long. So your attention span isn't that good to my 15 subscribers that is. And welcome to my 15, if I don't know who you are, it could be Lucas from work. Thanks for joining. Uh, so trying to keep the video as short as possible. We'll get the good stuff done first. So we'll crack this beer open. It's from Stomping Ground there in Victoria. It's a West Coast IPA, so it's gonna have, I guess, some of those American hops in it. It says it's an original bites back with a bitter edge of super fly grapefruit, resin, and pine, which you'd expect from a West Coast IPA. They're a bit resiny, a bit forestry taste to it. Beautiful can, once again, from Stomping Ground. Beautiful colors, beautiful black top. Yep, smells like a bushfire. We get it in the glass. So, big week in sport. The Blues absolutely, absolutely annihilated those two-headed bum sniffing banjo playing fucktards up in Queensland. That's the beer. She's looking quite nice there. Yeah, a little bit haze, a little bit hazy to it. Or otherwise, yeah, it's a yellowy amber, honey coloured. Nice white froth on top to the blues. Fucking frogged them. About 100, and, I think it was 106 to 12 or something. Huge score. So looking forward to game three up at the fucktards territory. Hopefully we can do it again up there. And win the series 2-1. Um, other news. Uh, Australia flogged Sri Lanka. Nathan, Nathan Lyon took about 20 wickets. Um, Cameron Green scored a good amount of runs to help us out in the second innings. What was it, the first innings? Whatever it was. So we've given them a lesson in how to play cricket. So let's get this into us without further ado. So she's got a fruity smell, a bit woody. Big, big hit of hops. As soon as that hits the tongue, you can taste those hops. Um, it is a 7.6% alcohol, so that's 2.2 standard drinks. So you do also get a big hit of alcohol. It's very boozy, but it's hazy, it's sexy, and it's fucking cool. So. Give it one more taste. Give it a rating. Look, I don't reckon you could drink this all night long. Or if you did, you'd be lying in the gutter somewhere halfway between here and the pub. But it's nice, it's bitter, it's boozy, it's what you want in a beer. So I'm going to give it out of five, I'm going to give it 4.6. Love a West Coast IPA. Stomping Ground seem to have a good selection in here. We've got West Coast IPAs. I think I've played through this before. A cold IPA and a hazy IPA. I've still got a hazy left. So the West Coast, very woody, very forestry tasting to it. Very bitter, but I'm sure you'll love it. And I'll give it a send it. I'm not going to send it yet, because um, you have to hang around and wait for that because I've just got the good shit out for first because I know we just we probably just run for two minutes. You're probably thinking, oh, I'm gonna click off, had enough of this, but wait, there's more. I've got more to talk about. Let's talk about tennis. Let's talk about 
Wimbledon. Let's talk about that fuckwit called Nick Kyrgios. He is an absolute fucking joke. He goes around, he fucking, people heckle him, thinks he can just spit at him. It's a wonder they just didn't kick him out of the tournament there and then. And then he has the hive to see, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Mate, you're representing your country. You can't fucking do that shit. And then he thinks, oh, but I'm, I'm, I'm like the, th I'm the most popular person in tennis. You're not. No one gives a fuck about you, mate. You're lucky to be number 40 with the amount of fucking things you've done in tennis. I reckon, I know you can beat me probably, of course you can beat me, my fucking next door neighbour could beat me in tennis, but I can still have an opinion, and you're a fucking wanker, Kyrgios. So hopefully, we never have to fucking hear from you again, but we probably will, because fucking like fucking bad smells, you're always hanging around. So anyway, that's the sport. He's playing, actually, he is playing the tit tonight, or tomorrow, I think it's tomorrow he's playing the tit. So... I think he's from Greece, the tit. Whereas Kyrgios is Australian, obviously, but I think he's got Greek or um, what's that other Cypriot background, maybe. Who knows? So hopefully the tit can get up and beat the fucking Kyrgios, knock him out, so then we don't have to hear about him till the next time. So all around, good week at sport. Blues got up. Australia got up in the cricket. Kyrgios goes down in the tennis, hopefully. And the Redbacks, we had a loss last week, the boys, the Intermediate Men's Division 1 in the European Comp, we went down to Lowlands. Uh, we've got the bye this weekend, luckily, because it doesn't look like much soccer will be on because it's raining. Uh, so that's the sports wrap for this Friday. Uh, Parramatta play South on Sunday. So, uh, no, tomorrow night, sorry, tomorrow night. So big battle between me and my son. And Gaza, even though he's dead. But anyway, this is Ascendant. Let's send it. And until next time, keep watching. Wait till the end, because that's the best part. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send it.